Hello, this is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions. I'm going to be showing you again how to make a QR code on generator in Xcode. So here's an example of what we're going to do. So I'm going to do youtube.com and if we generate that, it will generate a QR um, code in our screen and we can save the image whenever um, whenever we generate it. So it's going to ask if would you like to add to your photos and then we can press OK to save it. Now, this, I am actually going to remake this because in my other video, some people commented that the QR code was displayed blurry and not good quality. So I've found a fix to that code and I'm also going to show it to you in a brand new project. So this is what we're going to make today. Simply a QR code generator, kind of an update to my previous one. If you have seen my other video, I will link straight to this video so that you can get the better quality image. Okay, so let's jump into Xcode to begin. Okay, to get started, so we're going to click on create a new Xcode project. We're going to go with single view application, an application under iOS, and we're going to hit next. Our product name is going to be um, QR Code Tutorial version 2. You can obviously call yours whatever you decide to. I'm going to be using language Swift. I'm going to do none for now because I don't want to I don't I don't want to use my personal team for this. But the programming language is going to be Swift. And we're going to hit next. Save it somewhere nice and safe. So I'm going to save it in my um my um important documents folder. And now we're going to go over to our devices and we're gonna tick universal underneath our device orientation we're gonna untick landscape left and landscape right because our app functions best when in portrait and we want to tick requires full screen as well okay so we're gonna head over to um before we head over to our main storyboard we're gonna head over to info.plist we're going to create a um, new category and this is going to be um, photo photo library well I think it was privacy I think it was privacy dash photo library additions and this is going to be for the button so when we click save image it will um, ask it will actually ask you a, a message so I'm gonna say underneath our value the message will be hey can I access your pictures alright so that's the message that will pop up when we click on the save image as I demonstrated earlier in the video and that's all we need to do in our plist so we're gonna head over to main of storyboard to design the UI and to do so let's head over to um, this little um, circle library and we're gonna click here and we're gonna drag in a button and an image view and also a text view so we're gonna drag the button in first so this is going to say oh, I need to resize that what that's going to say is generate QR code copy and paste with command C and command V and this is going to say save image actually we can we can kind of put those we can put those these two higher because we want we want a space for the keyboard and space for the image view itself. And then we're going to also want to generate um, a text field actually. So drag in a text field and this at the very top. So this is where we're going to type in whatever we, we want and then the QR code image view which I will drag in later will be directly linked to whatever um, value we put in here. And the last thing we need to put in is the image view itself. So type in image view, search it up. And we want our QR code to be a perfect square. I, I chose the numbers 150 by 150, but you can play around with those numbers until you find your desired size. That's all we need to do. And we can now head over to view controller that's Swift and let's declare a few IB outlets. So just like the last video, the code, most of the code will remain the same, bar barring a few differences. 
regarding how clear the image um, itself is generated. Because that was the common complaint in my other video. So back on topic, we're going to do at IB outlet space week space var. This will be called my text field. And the type is going to be a UI text field. Okay, and we're going to um, copy and paste. Let me highlight that again. Okay, we're going to copy and paste that. Um, three times this time replacing the second one called my image view and then the the type will be UI image view instead of UI text view UI text field last one is going to be a button and that is going that type is going to be a UI button so we don't actually have to waste time typing all that out but if I suggest if you are new to programming you type all this out so that you can get used to it as well as you um, continue building bigger applications but that's what we're, that's all we need to do up here but all we need to do now is make a function to so do at IB um, action space um, funk space button uh, bracket uh, underscore it's gonna be sender colon any and here we're going to add in a parenthesis or a curly bracket and that is in between here we're going is going to be the code for what happens when we push the button so before we actually do anything else let's head over to main that storyboard and I'm going to link everything up so click on the very top so it is highlighted blue we're gonna head over to the connections um, inspector the connection tab button um, one is going to be here on generate QR code <coughs> So as you can see here, just and we're gonna do my image view to the actual image itself. The text field obviously goes to the um, text field on the very top. All right, and the actions, the received actions, we're going to drag it into our generate um, QR code as you see over here. And we're gonna do touch up inside. Okay, make to make sure everything is linked up correctly. Just run your mouse over the connections, the outlets. And if they are, if they highlight blue, then that means you have successfully linked everything up correctly. And now let's go back to our view controller, that Swift file, and it's going to be a bit of um, programming we're going to do here. Before we do that, we're going to create a um, new method, so it's going to be screenshot method, and this is going to be the code for when we want to save the image that we generate. All right, now we will. We'll edit this um, later, but we also want to do another um, function, and that's going to be the function for um, the save image button that we put earlier. So IB action space func, short for function, uh, space button screenshot of bracket comma, I mean not comma, bracket underscore sender colon uh, space any. And before we can, before we actually do anything else, we forgot to link that up. So head over to the top like, of the view controller, so it's highlighted blue. Now under received actions, because we declared a new ac uh, IB action, there should be a new one that popped up, and that simply will be linked to our save image. And just like last time, it will say touch up inside. And now we are now we're actually done with that and we can go back to our Swift view controller that Swift. And in our button screenshot, we're gonna do um we're gonna run screenshot method. And it's going to be it would, so basically when we push this button, it's going to run this function over here. We will input code on this later on, just we will have to put code first on the other IB action, which is the actual button that will generate the image. Okay, so let's head over to um, the first font, and we're gonna do let, and it's gonna say data equals my string dot data um, bracket using colon dot ascii, and we're going to allow um, lossy conversion, and this will be false. Uh, this this whole line. We're gonna put this in an if statement. So we're gonna do if let my string equals and this is say uh, my text field. So this is the text field, which is the one that we 
put in the very top of the view to my text fill the text um, we're gonna make a make a parenthesis and we're gonna move this line so this whole line we're gonna command C to copy and paste it inside the if statement and now we're also gonna want to do a filter so we're gonna do let filter we're gonna um, make that filter a CI filter and we're gonna we're gonna give it a name so do name of colon to um, speech marks and then we're gonna do filter a uh, question mark that set value and this will be um data so that was what we called our um our string so it was let data so that has that has to match what you call this or else it will throw an error and it will not work now for key will be input message and for this one over here which we did we didn't put a name for this one yet for the CI filter it is going to be CI QR um, code generator just like what we called it last time in our other video and then for the actual image itself we're going to um, let CI image equals filter content output oops output image and this one this we're, now we're gonna um do a transform and this will be a CG affine transform um, bracket and we, we want to do a scale X and also want to scale Y so here is going to be 10 and the Y will be 10 as well also want a um, we also want to transform the image itself so transform image equals CI image uh, question mark that applying and this one will be on transform okay and also we want to now we're gonna um, do a UI image and this will be this will be using the transform image that we put here and it's going to say let um, image so don't worry about these errors for now because um, because this will be fixed later if it does throw you this um, this little red thing here I'll we can also fix that it will update to the latest on version so let image equals because like well before I continue this let's just say that um they change a lot in Swift so I am using I was using my um I was using the old code that was um, generated back in the old version of Swift so if it throws you that you can see it will simply fix it itself so we can do now let image equals UI image um, bracket C I image a uh, colon transform image so whatever you call your CI image you just um, transform it is also case sensitive so you need to make sure everything is um, capitalized or lower cased so, well, mostly in most programming languages and also we want to do my image view dot image and that will equal simply image okay and we also want to make we also want to go over to wait where's our view did load yeah, we want to make sure that um the in our main storyboard, we want to make sure save image is um not yet enabled. So in order in order to do in order to um in order to do that, we're going to go to uh view to load and whatever we called our button. So I called my save image. I don't think we have an action declared for that yet. So do um IB outlet. And we're gonna do weak var button two, and then the type of this is gonna be UI button, just like our other button. Go to main that storyboard, and we're going to go, um, click so it's highlighted blue, and drag that button two to save image. And we want to make sure the save image is disabled when the app starts up. So go to view controller that Swift, and do go to view did load, and say um button two. So that's that's the um, thing that we that's the outlet we linked up to our button in our storyboard. So button uh, to the is enabled equals um, false. So that will be this is set in the viewed load because it is important where you place that because that is where um, it is is also where it first uploads up. So basically, viewed load is when the app first loads up, take us it will run this method first and. Bottom two will be disabled because we have not yet um, entered anything into our text field. So once we entered um, some text into our text field and we push the button, 
it will enable this later on. So this false will, be, will become true later, which I will um, show you how to do it in a minute. So let's head over to our um, button again, and we're going to this time button two dot enabled uh, is enabled equals true. Now it's going to be true over here because once this code runs, basically um, some a text has been inputted into our text field, so Xcode will know when to um, enable the save image button so that um, everything, I mean Xcode will know when to enable the button because it, we already have generated a QR code, so basically when the QR code is not generated, basically disable the button, so that's what it is trying to say. And before we end the tutorial, we need um, to edit the function screenshot method. And let's go simply do that by um, doing let layer space equals UI application. So this whole thing that I'm going to be coding right now is for the save button. So when we save out, when we want to save the image. So key window um, exclamation mark dot layer. And we want to scale that to our screen. So UI screen dot main dot scale. Um, U, ooh, UI graphics begin image um, context with options. Um, choose the site, choose that the, the one that will pop up. And for our Boolean, it's going to be a false. Scale is going to be simply scale. And now for our CG size, it's going to be layer dot frame dot size. That's the size of our um, screen itself. Could enter that and press layer um, dot render. Choose the first option. It should automatically um, type all that in for you. So in e, uh, col colon space and for the CG um, context, gonna press backspace and type in UI graphics. Get um, current um, context. Also put in an exclam exclamation mark so it will force it to happen like here. Okay, um, we're also going to do let screenshot um, equals UI graphics. Now, this time get image from current context. Um, enter a few and do UI graphics and image context. And uh, all, now the last thing we need to do is this is going to write the image to your album. So UI image write to saved photos album. Okay, and that's gonna be the screen oops screenshot. So this is actually when we save the image itself to our to our album. So nil, nil, and nil. Okay, and let's run our application. So let's go to main storyboard and as you can see we have built it for the iPhone 8 screen. If you, I'm not going to go into how to make it universal yet, that will be on a later tutorial. I'm going to go to iPhone 8, which is over here, and I'm going to click the play button. Simply wait for the simulator to build. It can take some time, so I'm going to end the video until it um, builds. Okay, and that actually loaded up faster, but I actually paused the video so that you wouldn't waste most more of your time. So. Now, as you can see here, our save image has been blurred out. The reason for that is because of this code over here, which is setting it the enable to false. And then you will notice that this will be set, the button will be set to true once I type something in my text field. So let's type in, for example, google.com. Now watch what happens to the save image button. So now when I generated the QR code itself, the save image button has been enabled and then we can click on that and it, it should save to our um, our photos so if you notice the QR code itself is much more clearer compared to my other video and um, that is I will post the code that I just typed out in the video I will post it in the description below and um, basically all you need to do is replace a few lines but if you wanted to make this from scratch I wanted to do this video because some people might have not seen my other video and simply want to start from scratch so 
let's go to our home screen and let's look at our photos album to see if it successfully saved our image. So this is this is all in the iOS simulator. Um, if you have a real device, this should also work the same way. And but as you can clearly see, it has saved the image just when we um press the save image button. And that is all we need to do. So thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out, hit like and hit subscribe, and I will post more programming tutorials in the future. Bye.